Yes. The, the Breakfast Club, bitch. <laughs> donkey of the day today. Yes, yeah, Donkey of the day for Friday, November 15th. Oh, today's payday. Yes, it is. Oh, okay. Dropping the clues box for payday, goddammit. It's that good check. It's that check that don't go to no bills or nothing. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, but today's donkey goes to Rutledge Rory Diaz of New Orleans. New Orleans, all right? Salute to everybody who listens to us on Q93 in New Orleans. Okay, dropping the clues box for Q93, damn it. Now, today is Friday, so you know what that means. It's Freaky, Freaky, Freaky Friday! And there's some horny-ass people on this planet. And uh, some people have some very weird sexual fetishes. Uh, Rory Diaz, 29 years old, has taken Freaky Friday to a new level. I've, I've never seen this type of freaky. See, Rory was arrested and booked Wednesday night on 10 counts each of sexual battery and human labor trafficking and one count of possession of a controlled, dangerous substance. Now, what in the hell was Corey doing? Let's go to the greatest news reporter that ever walked the planet, Joe Bartlett of WOR for the report, please. A New Orleans man is facing sexual battery charges after posing as his made-up handicapped brother in order to obtain a home health care provider that he tricked into changing his adult diaper for sexual arousal. Rutledge says the nurses is loving me, saying the best part of the day is my half feeding him breakfast and giving him a sponge bath. (laughs) Diaz, 29, was arrested and booked Wednesday night on 10 counts each of sexual battery and human labor trafficking in one count of possession of a controlled substance. Police Thursday, in a release, said that Diaz posted ads on social media for home health care for who he claimed was his mentally and physically handicapped 18-year-old brother, Corey. Upon arranging for a home health care provider, Diaz would then pose as Corey, while allowing the care provider to change his shitty diaper and obtain sexual arousal under the false pretenses of being physically disabled. Hashtag horny and handicapped. This guy. <laughs> dropping the clues, monster Joe Bartlett. Uh, He's the best. This, this guy pretended to be mentally and physically disabled so he could get his diaper changed. Like, this is his fetish, acting like a baby. Is technology not making it easier? For people to get sex, I would think it's way easier to get, like, you know, sex workers, prostitutes, just to hook up with women, period. And I'm sure it is, but Roy doesn't want that. Roy doesn't get off on just being with a woman. He gets off on being a a, a baby. This is an interesting case study because he told investigators that he suffered severe childhood trauma and being cared for like a baby brought him back to a time and place where he was at peace. I feel him, you know, we all have a wounded inner child inside of us and Roy is trying to find healing for that wounded inner child. I get it. This is the reason why I look forward to being balled up in a fetal position, uh, laid up under my wife all weekend watching X-Men cartoons on Disney+. Plus. Okay, wine, weighted blankets, X-Men cartoons brings me right back to that peaceful, uh, trauma-free childhood life. So Corey, I feel you, but no. You need therapy. You need counseling. You can't pretend to be mentally and physically handicapped, risking diaper rash for some ass. Just for get fun, uh, though. Uh, though. Uh, who do you think Rory's favorite rapper is, Envy? Lil Baby. Lil Baby. <laughs> <laughs> who do you think his second favorite rapper is? Uh, the Baby. Okay, okay. Who do you think his uh, favorite rap mogul is? Uh, Birdman Baby. Baby. Birdman Baby. Okay, okay, <laughs> okay. Uh, who do you think his favorite R&B singer is? Mm. His favorite R&B singer, Babyface. Ba- okay, okay, I can see why you would say that. <laughs> Yee, what do you think his favorite TLC song is? Baby, baby, baby. Mm-hmm. Okay, okay. Steven, you want in on this? Come here, Steven the White Demon. Come here, come here, come here, come here, come here, come here. Come here, grab the mic, grab the mic, grab the mic. <laughs> what do you think Rory's favorite rap song ever is, Steven the White Demon? Same as mine, Ice Ice Baby. Hey. <laughs> I was thinking someone always be my baby, Mariah Carey. There goes my baby, Usher. I said rap song. Oh, sorry. Stand down. <laughs> now, 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 Diaz was placed in custody at his New Orleans home without incident after police got an arrest warrant. And uh, anyone who believes they're one of Diaz's victims should call Louisiana State Police Detectives at 504-310-7000. Okay, something tells me, though, it won't be a long line of people coming out to admit this one. All right. Please give Rutledge Rory Diaz the sweet sounds of the Hamiltons. You are the donkey of the day. You are the donkey of the day. Yeehaw! <laughs> What's going on? All right. That's weird. Thank you for that donkey of the day. Mm-hmm. I got you, baby. <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong with you, man? <laughs>
Donkey of the Day is brought to you by the law office of Michael S. Lamisoff. Don't be a donkey. Dial pound 250 on your cell and say the bull if you've been hurt in a construction accident. That's pound 250 from your cell and say the bull.